Imagine if someone goes up to your UTM and they buy or sell $10,000 or let's just say $6,500. Your UTM will charge that client. And that this is just one transaction, guys. This is how crazy it can get. This is just one transaction. Let's just say they go and they buy $6,500. You get 10 to 15% per transaction on crypto. So just $6,500, guys, would be $650. This is not even involving cash, uh, check cashing. This is not involving bill pay. This is not involving uh, transferring funds. Because when 2025 comes around, you're going to be able to do more and more with these UTMs. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How's everybody doing tonight? Tonight, we're going to talk about the greatest, the latest UTMs, guys. Most of you guys probably don't know what UTMs are, guys. UTMs are going to be ultimately the machine that's going to take over this industry, right? For those of you guys that don't know what a UTM is, it's a universal teller machine. That's right, guys. Universal, right? Universal pretty much means that this machine here is going to allow customers, consumers to do more than just go up to it and withdraw cash, right? Think about it like this, and most of you guys have heard this analogy, this example multiple times for me, but it's just what makes the most sense, right? So think of a, uni, a UTM like this, right? An ATM and a BTM, which is a crypto machine, if they had a baby, right? That's a UTM. You, that's a hint. That's why it has the word universal in it, right? Because you can do more than just withdraw cash, right? I kid you not, guys. UTMs, you're going to have four different streams of income when it comes to setting up your UTM business. So let's go ahead and get started on how to get started with your ATM UTM business. And then of course, later on toward the end of the live, if it kind of quiets down a little bit and it's not too noisy, I'll go ahead and transition into a Q and A for you guys and answer any questions that you guys have. Also, for those of you guys watching right now, if you guys would like a free guide on our UTM business, Go ahead and comment UTM right now. Go ahead and comment UTM right now if you guys would like a free guide for your UTM business. Now, let's go ahead and get started. Tonight's going to be a pretty quick live stream. Um, it's going to go, uh, we're going to go over pretty much all the, you know, basics on getting started with your ATM, UTM business, as well as go over a couple frequently asked questions. And then most importantly, right, how you can generate $1,000 with your UTM business. Now, Stick along to the end of the live, guys, because like I said, you can make up to four streams of income with your UTM business. So if you guys would like to know, make sure you stick along. All right, guys. Now, let's go ahead and get started with our step number one on how to start your ATM UTM business, right? Now, how many people right now know what the first step is? Go ahead and comment down below. Let me see who's the first person that I see in the comments that comments down below the first step to start your UTM or ATM business. Go ahead and comment it down below. Also, guys, I apologize if I sound a little bit stuffy, man. I got I got hit with a cold this weekend, and I'm kind of just now recovering. So, I mean, I might sound a little stuffy, so I do apologize. All right, yes, yes, Nicole, you're you're on track. Getting your LLC, that is correct. You need to set up your LLC and your EIN. Ultimately, just filling out or forming your company when setting up your ATM, UTM business. Now, the importance of setting this up, guys, is number one, you want to be a reputable company. You want to let the state know that you're doing legal business, right? As an ATM business, all you need to do is go as far as setting up your LLC and EIN. Now, whenever you're starting to open up your UTM business, here is where it gets a little bit more complicated and you have to file for compliance with your state and the federal government. Why? Because as a UTM business, this is where you become an MSB, which is a money service business, right? Make sure you guys write this down. As a UTM business owner, you become an MSB. Therefore, you have to file compliance with your state and with the government, the federal government, letting them know that you're going to have an ATM or, uh, sorry, a UTM on location that's going to allow people to not only withdraw cash, but also deposit checks or cash checks, right? Bill pay or buy and sell crypto, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then the other big ones like XRP and whatnot, right? So you are essentially an MSB. Therefore, you have to file for more compliances and uh, get more um, permits for your UTM. Once you got your company set up, 
Now you're ready for the business bank account. Now, how many of you guys know right now another reason why it's important to have an LLC, right? And I'll go ahead and answer it for you guys right now. That's right. Most of you guys are probably going to say that or you're thinking about this. Setting up your business bank account, right? Without an LLC, without an EIN, you will not be able to open up a business bank account. Now, as you guys know, for the ATM business, all you need to go with is a ATM business-friendly bank, a small local you know, regular bank or credit union, but, but exactly, banks will trust you, let alone you'll be able to apply for business funding, right? You can go to the bank and apply for business loans, with, which are really bigger than personal loans, right? If you go to a bank, you try to get a personal loan, I mean, you'll get a couple thousand, right? Less than 10, maybe less than 15. But when you, you know, build a business, you go apply for funding for your business, you can easily get approved for 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 K with business funding. So that's also another great reason. And uh, Nicole, you're on track. Banks will trust you. When they trust you, they let you borrow money, right? But number two, guys, like I said, uh, ATM business, ATM business friendly banks, which are normally small banks, credit unions, right? But when it comes to the UTMs, UTM business for universal teller machines, the, the list gets more and more uh, smaller and smaller, right? With ATMs, yeah, you're limited to certain banks, but when it comes to UTMs, you really have to narrow it down to a, cer a certain amount of banks that work with the UTM business. Remember, guys, the UTM business is a MSB, right, which only makes it a little harder to set up an account with them when you're starting by yourself, right? This is why it's very important to network. Your network is your net worth. Once you start to network, once you start to work with the team, it gets much easier when trying to start up a business. And that's just in general, whether it's ATMs, UTMs, vending machines, it doesn't matter, right? It gets easier, right? You know what they say, two brains is better than one, right? So once you set up your business bank account, whether it's ATM or UTM business, once you got that out of the way, now you're ready to work with an ISO, an independent sales organization that's ultimately going to help you purchase your ATMs or UTMs, as well as free limited processing for both. When it comes to ATM processing, guys, it is as simple as working with a processing company that's going to facilitate your ATM transactions for free, right? Now, what do I mean for free? That means that if you're charging 3 or $4 per transaction with your ATM business, they are not going to take a single penny from your fees meaning that if if you're charging three or four dollars you're gonna get three or four dollars right that's free unlimited processing unlimited just simply means that you can scale your business to 20 30 atms if you want and they will they won't tie you up under a contract or they won't tie the the uh a chainsaw agreement on you right now when it comes to utms a lot of people get the misconception that once you buy a utm that now you have to focus on replenishing cash and also replenishing the Bitcoin, the crypto, right? The cash for the crypto, right? Because with a UTM, there's two reserve boxes. And um, pretty much whenever someone buys or sells Bitcoin, that money is going to go into that reserve box, right? The ATM part of the UTM and the BTM, the Bitcoin, the crypto part of that UTM is two separate things, right? So here's where a lot of people get the misconception that, oh my God, it's too expensive. Uh, because whenever you're running a UTM business, you do need a minimum of two Bitcoin. And how much is Bitcoin going for right now, guys? Does anyone know right now in the comments how much Bitcoin is going for right now? Um, I think the last time I checked, it was around like 56 or 60K. But I don't know the exact number. How many people in the chat right now know exactly how much Bitcoin is going for? I know some of you guys in the chat have some Bitcoin. So I know you guys know. I recently sold mine, so I haven't been keeping up uh, up to date with it. But our fulfillment team, or typically your ISO, right? The people, the network, the company that helps you with your UTM business, they are usually the ones that are putting up the crypto for your UTM. So for those of you guys thinking right now, oh, I can't start my UTM business because I don't have crypto or I don't know anything about crypto. Don't worry, guys. You do not have to know anything about crypto to have a UTM, right? Whenever you're working with an ISO, right? Or you have a fulfillment team, which we provide all of our clients with, they are usually the ones that put up the crypto for you so that when a customer goes up to your, your UTM and they try to buy or sell crypto, that crypto is coming out of the wallet of your fulfillment team, of your ISO, right? So don't worry, guys. You do not have to have any crypto to manage your UTM business. Now, once you get your ISO ready to go or your processing for both your ATM, UTM business, again, guys, free and limited processing, 
and also no contract. Now, when it comes, that's right, Nicole, I know, right? Imagine if you had to put like $120,000 down in crypto just to manage a UTM business, that, that, that'll be crazy, right? So yeah, there's fulfillment teams that you can hire, that you can get so that they can put up the crypto for you. Now, when it comes to the ATM business, right? The ATM side of the UTM is what I'm trying to say, right? So whenever someone goes up to your UTM and they withdraw, the heck? Sorry, guys. My phone just went crazy. Uh, whenever someone goes up to your UTM, guys, and they try to withdraw $20, $40, $60, they will pay that fee that your UTM charges them, right? Whether it's $3, whether it's uh, $4, where, whatever it is that you charge in your area, all right? But when it comes to the crypto side of the UTM, right? Let's say someone goes up to your, AT, uh, your UTM. Sorry, I keep calling it ATM because I've been doing it for the past five years, right? But let's say someone goes up to your UTM and they try to buy or sell crypto. You get 10 to 15% of that. Sometimes it even goes up to 20, depending on where you're at. You get 15 to 10, uh, to, 10 to 15% of that fee of that transaction. So let's just say, for example, and I'll get into the numbers here in just a second, but just to uh, let you guys know and give you guys a little bit of teaser on, on, on the uh, Bitcoin side of the UTM business. If someone withdraws, or, or they buy or they sell a thousand, ten thousand, let's just say ten thousand, ten thousand dollars of Bitcoin, right? You make 10 to 15 percent of that. If you guys do the numbers, that's right. That's one thousand to fifteen hundred dollars that you would make off that one transaction. Imagine making a thousand bucks off of one transaction, guys. How crazy is it? How crazy does that sound? Exactly, guys, exactly. So I mean that I mean you guys can you guys can see how how crucial it becomes when when managing a UTM business, right? So, once you set up the the ISO relationship, right? Once you set up your relationship with your ISO, right? The company that facilitates your ATM, your UTM, your crypto transactions, now you're ready for locations, right? Now when it comes to the UTM business, it's much more e is way 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 more easier to find a location for a UTM business than what it is for a ATM business. Why do I say that? Well, because guys, UTMs allow people to go up to that machine and do four different transactions, right? They can withdraw cash, they can cash a check, they can do bill pay, or they can buy or sell crypto, right? So that's four to five ways of, 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 of four to five different transactions, right? Compared to an ATM business, right? It only allows clients, customers to go up to the ATM and withdraw cash, right? So therefore, there's a much higher chance. There's a bigger uh, ROI that you would receive from a UTM business than from an ATM business, right? So that now opens up the area that you can prospect when it comes to locations. Now, most of you guys know, if you guys attended any of the, our previous live trainings, you guys know how to prospect locations, leverage Yelp, leverage Facebook Marketplace, leverage Instagram, right? Facebook, just in general, right? Leverage social media. Or if you guys are more old school, right, you guys can do door to door, right? You guys can uh, call, uh, do cold calling, right? There's different ways on how to really prospect locations or referrals, right? You can have people, friends and family to go out and find locations for you and pay them referral fees based on the location that they find you, right? So there's different ways on how to prospect locations. But what I'm trying to get at, guys, is it's much easier to find a location for a UTM than when it, what it was for an ATM business. Reason being is because, again, for an ATM business, guys, you have to look for cash-only businesses or high-traffic, high-cash-demand uh, type of businesses, right? Which there's not a whole lot in 2024. They're still out there, right? They're still out there. I was just talking to, uh, to someone in, in, in California, in, in Las Vegas, actually, um, who uh, was talking about getting started with their ATM business. And he said that they have, like, a couple, um, a couple barbershops and nail salons for cash only. Now, the reason why they're cash only is because there's a lot of mom and pop shops out there, guys, that would rather be cash only because number one, when they take cards, they pay credit card fees. That's number one. Number two, if they take card, they get disputes, meaning customers go home, they dispute the transaction, and now the business owner has to pay that money back to the customer because people, believe it or not, they're a-holes. They go home and they dispute transactions. And now the, the business, they lose money, right? So those are different reasons why a, a business owner would want your ATM. But now look at this. 
Now you can still target those same businesses, but instead of offering an ATM, you could offer a UTM. Why? Because a UTM is going to allow them to not their customers allow allow their customers to not only withdraw cash, but also do bill pay, cash cash and checks, and buy and sell crypto. Right now, that eight that machine is going to allow them to do much more than just withdrawing cash, right? Which to business owners is, is a no-brainer, right? That's like another added convenience to their business, right? So now here's where it, it here's where it gets like real good, real juicy, guys. With ATMs, you can't just target like office buildings, right? Like you can't walk into an office building and be like, hey, can I have an, can I put an ATM in here? Not really, right? Why? Because a lot of people that are walking into offices, they're going to work, right? They're getting to a meeting, they're doing something, right? A lot of the times they don't really need cash right? But in office buildings, there's a lot of different companies that are in that office building. And believe it or not, they have a lot of employees who get paid cash. I mean, not cash, who get paid by check, like a, a written check. And guess what? On their way out the door, instead of having to head over to the bank, if it's inconvenient for them, guess what? They can deposit their check or cash their check at your UTM. You charge them a small percentage. And guess what? They got their cash. They paid a convenience fee so that they don't have to drive to the bank, right? Because no matter where we're at, right? It's super hot. Gas prices are off, out, you know, out of uh, out of control, right? So they much rather pay a small percentage for that convenience fee to cash your check, and they can go straight home to the family, right? Or they can do whatever it is they got to do, right? So those these are now it opens up your 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 list of locations that you can now target, right? You can now target office buildings, right? Uh, you can still target malls, right? But you can target office buildings or bi big businesses that have companies inside them like suites, right? Uh, my my barber, he used to work at this suite. Now, I was thinking about placing an ATM, but I mean, realistically speaking, every single barber in there either takes card or they take Zelle, right? And people are usually walking in for their appointment and then they walk back out, right? So, and uh, Brandon, I'll get into your question right now. So, ATMs, it wouldn't do very well at, at, at that suite, right? At that building with a bunch of suites in it. But now when we're talking UTMs, now people can do crypto. Now people can cash checks. Now people can still withdraw cash because believe it or not, there still will be people that will withdraw cash. But now you're giving them more options. Let alone, guys, the UTM looks bigger. It looks like the screen is much bigger. So it looks more catchy. It's going to catch people's attention. People are going to be interested. People, believe it or not, will walk up to your UTM just to see what the heck is that. Because it looks so futuristic, right? So that's all. That's the great thing about UTMs. Now, Brandon, check fraud. In order to use a UTM when doing cashing checks or whenever buying crypto, you, the machine will actually ask the client to scan their ID. So number one, they will need to scan an, a government ID, and it will need they will need to input their phone number so that they can text them a code, and then they can go ahead and put that code into the machine, right? So that's how that's how the machine prevents any type of fraud in regards to crypto or cashing uh, your checks. So I hope that answered your question. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much when it comes to your locations, right? When it comes to finding locations and the type of locations that you would want to target for your ATM UTM business. Now, how many of you guys right now are excited for the newest, the greatest UTMs, Universal Televisions? Go ahead and comment down below the fire emoji. Go ahead and let me know right now that you guys are excited. Also, for those of you guys that are just now tuning in, go ahead and comment down below UTM if you would like our greatest and latest UTM guide. It's an entire guide that will walk you through what the UTM business is all about, how you can benefit from it as a business owner, and ultimately how you can start generating multiple streams of income from one machine, right? I never thought this would come. I never thought this was that this would be, you know, possible, right? But once I got the word about UTMs, I actually have a couple on the way so that I can get some installed myself, right? But here's how you can make up to $1,000 a month with UTMs, right? In in uh, residual or passive income, depending on how uh, you manage your portfolio, right? Semi-passive, passive income, right? Semi-passive, meaning you still go to the UTM and maintain it and clean it up and all that good stuff. Um, also fill it up with cash right now residual income meaning you don't touch it whatsoever you hire a company to go fill up your machine for you and then you you do a profit split right but here's how you can make a thousand dollars a month with your utm business now let's just say guys let's just say for example with your utm business you have a uh, hundred transactions 
right? A hundred transactions at a uh, $3 and 50 cents, right? A month, your eight, your, your, the ATM side of the UTM does a hundred transactions. That is $350 that that ATM, that the UTM made for you in cash transactions, 350. That leaves us with $650. Imagine, imagine guys, imagine if someone goes up to your UTM and they buy or sell $10,000 or let's just say $6,500, $6,500 uh, from your ATM, from your uh, UTM. They buy uh, whether it's Bitcoin, whether they buy uh, Ethereum, whether they buy, um, what's the other one? XRP, right? Let's just say they buy $6,500, right? Your UTM will charge that client. And that this is just one transaction, guys. This is how crazy it can get. This is just one transaction. Let's just say they go and they buy $6,500. You get 10 to 15% per transaction on crypto. So just $6,500, guys, would be $650. With just these two, or the, the 100 transactions a month on the ATM side, and there's one transaction in crypto, you already made $1,000 in that month. And this is just two streams of income. This is not even involving cash, uh, check cashing. This is not involving bill pay. This is not involving uh, transferring funds because when 2025 comes around, you're going to be able to do more and more with these UTMs, right? So let's just say this now. Let's just say uh, people aren't going to your UTM to buy $6,500 or, or, or $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, but, which is possible, right? We have clients who, who have made twenty uh twelve to twenty thousand dollars in one month from their btm business this is not utms this is btms this is crypto only we're talking about a utm where not only do you benefit from crypto but also cash right the best of both worlds right so we had clients for a under atm together who's generated ten to twenty thousand dollars from just their crypto uh their btm alone i mean just imagine your utm business guys so, like I said, even if you have, um, you know, 10 people, 10 people that go up to your UTM and they buy or sell $1,000 in crypto, that's 100 bucks. 100 times 10, that's $1,000. All you need is 10 $1,000 crypto transactions, which is very likely, right? Because if someone goes and buys crypto, they're not just buying 1000 They're buying a couple thousand, right? And some people, believe it or not, they might cash their check right? Let's just say they go up to your UTN, they might cash their check. You might make a small fee off of that. Then they take that cash and then they buy crypto for their crypto wallet. And now once they buy crypto, you make a small fee from that, right? Because to a lot of people, people look at crypto as an asset. Why? Because with crypto, it's just like stocks, right? It goes up and it goes down. It goes up and it goes down. But in, in the long term, guys, I, I'm hearing stories uh, and don't quote me on this, but you guys can do your own research. I'm hearing, your, I'm hearing stories that Bitcoin is going to hit based off of charts, based off of the expert uh, research that Bitcoin is going to hit $100,000, right? So people are buying Bitcoin. People are buying Ethereum. People are buying, you know, any type of crypto right now because they know that in the long run, five to 10 years from now, that crypto is going to go up right? So think about it like this. If you have a UTM on location, you go ahead and have someone that deposits their check. They cash it out. Then they deposit that cash to buy crypto. Now you're getting the best of both worlds. You're making money off that, that fee from the check. And then you're making money off the fee from the crypto they buy. And the way they look at it is they're investing their money in crypto, right? Because in 10 years from now, if it hits 100K or whatever it is that, that experts are, are seeing that is going to hit, guess what? They're making profit no matter what. Right. So that's the play. Just like Morgan says, that's the play, guys.